Hello, everybody. How you doing today? Oh, my goodness. Did you miss Sister Georgie? Oh, my goodness. I miss y'all. I like reading these Bible stories. Remember, I tell you, it's Women's Month. So I'm reading a series of Bible uh, uh, I'm talking about Bible stories. I'm reading some books from the library. Not only do I read Bible stories to children on Saturday morning at 9 a.m., uh, uh, you know, but I also read other books, okay, to encourage children to read, read, read. And uh, I want, I, like I said, it's Women's Month. March is Women's Month. So I'm going to read a bunch of books, a few books from from different uh, genres about women who made a difference in our lives, made a difference in our society. So this one here was a pretty interesting book. Oh my goodness. This one is pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, her name was Wilma Rudolph. So I read Sona Sotomayor. I read Mae Jameson. She was astronaut and the uh, Sodom, Sona Sotomayor, sorry, she was uh, uh, um, the first Latina justice. Yes, sir. Okay, now we got Wilma Rudolph. Now, she was kind of a unique individual, okay? And this book is written by Isabel Martin, okay? Now, I'd like to read a little short stories. Meet Wilma. Wilma Randolph was a famous Olympic track runner from Tennessee. Yes, sir. She was very fast. Oh, my goodness. Wow. People call her the Tennessee Tornado. Oh, you got to listen to her story now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I ain't going to try to tell you beforehand. Okay. Wilma was born in 1940. As a child, she was sick a lot. Imagine that. She was sick, but yet she became a Tennessee tornado. Now, how did that happen? All right. Wilma lost the use of her left leg. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Doctor said she might not walk again. Oh, my God. She wore a leg brace for eight years, eight long years, wearing a leg brace. Look at that. That's her. Okay, standing there. She right with her sister. Okay. While growing up, Wilma worked hard to get better. Her family helped her. Oh, she wasn't going to give up now. She, won't, she was going to let the fact that something was wrong with her leg stop her from being what she desired to be is. She went to a doctor twice a week. At age 12, Wilma stopped wearing the brace. Wow. I know she was excited. Yes, sir. She was. By age 16, Wilma was a track star. What? She was a track star. Oh, my goodness. Ain't that something? Remember, something was wrong with her leg. And he got better. Wow. She tried out for the Olympic track team. She made it. Wow. She made it. What a good girl. She pushed on. She persevered. Oh, my gosh. She wasn't going to let nothing stop her. Wow. Wilma ran in the 1956 Olympics in Australia. She won a bronze medal. Yes, sir. In her adult years, Wilma started college in 1958. 1958, I wasn't born yet. Uh-uh. She kept on practicing her running. She wanted to do better in the next Olympics. In 1960, she ran in the Olympic Games in Italy. Wow. Oh, look at her running. Oh, my goodness. For somebody who had problems with her legs, look at her go. My Lord. Jesus. God is so good. Oh, my goodness. She believed in herself. Wilma won three gold medals in Italy. She was the first American woman to win three gold medals at the same Olympics. My goodness. Ain't she something? Wow. This is a powerful young lady. Oh, my goodness. People were proud of Wilma. Her hometown held the parade and a dinner. The Tennessee Tornado, remember what they called her? Yes, was the world's most famous female athlete. Oh, my goodness. And look at her. She was sitting with the late President Kennedy. Yes, Robert Kennedy, he was with, he was, uh, 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 with her. 
you know, uh, I'm trying to figure, I must have getting the Kennedy brothers mixed up. I'm not sure if it's but the Robert Kennedy, what, what was the president? Oh my goodness, oh, was it John Kennedy? Oh, ah, yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, my, my memory is, is John F. Kennedy, JFK that they called him, yes. JFK, John F. Kennedy. Oh my goodness, what was I saying? All right, uh, the other brother, the other brother was, I believe he was a senator. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so people were proud. Even the president was proud of her at that time. Okay, her hometown had a parade and a dinner. The Tennessee Tornado was the world's most famous female athlete. Whoa, ain't that something? Look at that. Look at her. Okay, and, and, and here's mommy helping her, coaching her, pushing her along, and encouraging her to practice her running. Ain't that something? Wow. Later in life, Wilma graduated from college in 1963. I was born around that time. She later got married and had four children. Wow. Wilma became a teacher and a track coach. She was named to several different halls of fame. Yes, sir. In 1981, Wilma started a group to help young athletes. She taught them to work hard like she did. Wilma died in 1994. Wow. Oh, my goodness. She she died a little bit after I started going to college. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, she, I went to college in 1993, and she died a year later. Ain't that something? People remember her as a hero. Wow. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. So, Wilma uh, uh, Rudolph, she was another young woman. Another African American woman that make a difference. So, in spite of how she had issue with uh, illness with her legs, she persevered. She pushed on, and she made it. She won some gold medals. So, you know what that tells me? What uh, you know that you need to persevere. You, as I keep telling you, follow your dreams. You must dream big. Or don't stop dreaming. Okay, for great things will happen. When you continue to follow your dreams, follow your goals, and don't give up, and don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. You tell yourself, I can, I can, I can, I will, I will. So don't forget to pick up this book and read some more about Wilma Randolph, Ru Rudolph, okay, in the library, okay? And I want you again, go to my YouTube channel. And, and, and connect to Wamu Ministries. Yes, yes. And we are on a, a, a Wamu Media. Oh my goodness. Yes, sir. So connect and, 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 and you know, subscribe. All right. And you're going to see a lot more stories with Sister Georgie from Mississippi by way of Jamaica West Indies. No, I love you. And you know what? Before I do that, on Saturday mornings at 9 a.m., I want all the little boys and little girls join me on YouTube as I read Bible stories to children. Okay? So you're going to see Sister Georgie reading Bible stories. So I'm reading this because this is connected to Women's Month. Okay? So I want you to love reading, children. Reading is fundamental. And then you learn how to read and continue to always read. Guess what? Readers make great leaders. Okay. And please don't just keep using the tablets all the time. Pick up the book. Go to the library and pick up the book. Oh my goodness. You'd be so smart. Oh my God. You learn so much. You have great conversations. Oh, we got something to talk about. So, Enjoy your day, enjoy your evening, enjoy your night. See you next time. This is Sister Georgie from Mississippi by way of Jamaica West Indies. I love you and Jesus love you more. Have a good day. Bye-bye. See you next time.